got a taxi plane. Kind of taking off right down the channel that we come in with the boat. <laughs> yes. I would say that he's leaving a wake. You think he's leaving a wake? Oh, uh, what do you think? Ooh, that's gonna be pretty good. Here it comes. Whee! Whee! Whoa! Are you really wet now? <laughs> Todd likes to cut it close to markers. <laughs> and we got another one coming. We're headed in to get our clearance into the Bahamas. So it's a two mile ride in a wakeless zone. Takes a long time. Previously on Spoon Drifter, we spent three years in a boatyard bringing our 40 year old hurricane damaged sailboat back to life. Todd, I, and four of our 10 kids knew nothing about boats when we started. But with time, we have repowered, re-rigged, and turned this boat into a home that's ready for the next big adventure. So let's talk about what it takes to check in to the Bahamas and why we chose Bimini to check into the Bahamas. First thing is, because we were coming from the Keys, Bimini is the easiest place to come in as you're going north and crossing the Gulf Stream. But that's not the only reason. There's a few other good things about checking into Bimini. So our second reason that we chose Bimini was that it was super easy. Other places don't have immigration officials there all the time. So they can charge you an extra fee to go get the immigration people and bring them. That can happen on weekends, which is one of the things that happened for us is we showed up on a Sunday. So we just waited until Monday morning. Gray Harbor Key and West End both require that you come into a marina and dock and then deal with immigration and customs. Chubb Key actually charges you a landing fee. You have to tie up to their marina and they charge you to do that even though you don't get to stay overnight. So for us, anchoring was more comfortable. We could anchor, run into shore, do all of our stuff and be out of there with no extra anything. There's multiple easy options of where to anchor as you check in. And you don't have to stay overnight to do that. You can check in by anchoring on Radio Beach, going to shore, leave your dinghy, go do all of your things, come back, get in your boat, and keep going into the Bahamas. The second option is to get a marina. You have lots to choose from, and from what we hear, they aren't super expensive. The third option is to anchor on the inside, which is what we did. All right, you gonna wait here? All right, we're supposed to go over here. I am going in to check us in. We'll see if they'll let me check in. I might have to go back and get Todd. So what does it take to check into the Bahamas? The first of all, you've got to have passports. And if you have animals like we do, a dog and a cat, there is a number of hurdles that you have to overcome and be prepared well and ahead of time for. So when you go in to check in, you're gonna to go to visit two places. You're gonna to go to immigration and to customs. Click to clear is customs, it is not immigration. When I got into immigration, they asked me if I had all my paperwork figured out and I was like, yes. And then what I realized is that there is this little form and I don't know where you get this form online and like you can see, it's this funny shape. Um, they will give it to you, you fill it out and then they clear you into immigration. After you've done immigration, you go over to customs. So immigration was simple. Um, I did have to fill out some forms there with everybody's information. I'm gonna cross to the other side where there's a sidewalk, kind of a sidewalk. Before I get run over. Mm 
The Bahamas has gone to a digital program called Click to Clear. It is not complicated, but there is one thing that you need to know to use it that took me a really long time to figure out. Okay, so I'm gonna go on the website and I'm gonna kind of just show you around, but the reality is the website has some really good tutorials on YouTube that will walk you through it step by step. Okay, so you are looking for a cruising permit, which is this button right here, and you're gonna click on that, and it's gonna open this up right here. You're gonna click to log in, and that's going to open this right here. And you don't put anything in here. You do not need to register. You're just going to request a cruising permit. Okay, none of this matters right now. You're going to click that you're a, a pleasure craft and create an inbound. And then you're gonna fill this in and click save and it'll go to the next thing and you'll click save. But there's a point at which it's going to tell you that you have a PCR number. Write that down. When you are trying to come back to this, it's going to ask you for registration type. You're gonna click existing. It's going to ask this rotation number right here. This is where I got hung up. I would put my number in here, but what nothing says anywhere is that you actually have to write PCR and then the number. If you don't do that, it will not find you. Seriously, that drove me nuts. I did this about 10 times because it refers to in all of the tutorials that you can come back at any time to finish it. And I couldn't find my paperwork and I would have to start all over from the very beginning. So it's PCR dash number in that spot. And then it will pull up your stuff and you'll be able to find it. Super simple, but kind of not intuitive. So when you have recorded that number, PCR dash number, and you get back into it and you're all done, you can then pay. Again, there's a really good YouTube video on the site teaching you how to do this, but they do take credit cards. And so you just go in there and you pay. So that makes it so when you show up, there's no extra paperwork, there's no big deal. All right, super noisy out here. Don't know if you can hear me, but that was super simple. It was all done. They didn't need any paperwork from me. They just printed it out. They signed my name and we're done. Go back to find the kids. Okay, so taking pets to the Bahamas is not hard, but there's a lot of little steps of what you need to do. Our little cat here was a rescue. She came microchipped and had her first vaccinations, but we had to get all of them that she was due and we had to get Denali microchipped. We don't have a lot of money and vets can be expensive. So we chose to use like the Humane Society or a local pet rescue. We did both of those to get cheaper immunizations. The most challenging thing about taking a pet to the Bahamas is getting their import permit. And there isn't a really good way from the Bohemian government to do that. You fill out a form that you can find online, you mail it to them, they mail it back, and you might get it in a couple of months. There is a faster way. There's a service that has popped up and he does a really good job. You fill out the forms that he has on his website, you email them to him, he walks them into the Bahamas, wherever they need to go, gets them checked off, he brings them back, scans them, and emails them back to you. I had mine turned around in three days. It is a really fantastic option because we have heard horror stories of people waiting for months to do it the old fashioned way. So Sidna got a few shots, had a health check, and then everything was good. The Bahamas wants you to have a health certificate from the, from a vet and it says 24 hours before arrival. The reality is they understand we're on boats and that that is not something that's reasonable. 24 hours is if you're flying in. Um, ours was a week and again, they didn't say anything to us. The vet check is just simply a piece of paper where they look over your immunizations and they look at the animal and they go, yep, they look healthy to me. So Heroes Park is where we've tied the dinghy up to do all of this. All right, 
We're good to go. You're gonna climb up there and get them for us? There's that one, more sled. All right, this needs to go back in there or in your green bag. It'd probably go in your green bag. So that was pretty really easy. Yeah, they didn't need any paperwork from me with the click to clear, it was just done. You have to fill out again like everybody else? I did have to fill out an immigration, but click to clear is customs. All right, here we are. Walking in a place where they drive on the wrong side of the road. Kind of throws you for a loop for a second when you step off the sidewalk. You gotta look the other direction first. We wanna see if we can find some food somewhere. Look at that water. Wonder where Mitch is anchored. You think that's his? Hey, magic! That looks like fun. Is that good, Abigail? You're gonna eat it all? Drink it all? Yeah. <laughs> it's time to get the flag out. And check it up. Read the instructions. You know which way's up? I don't want to do it upside down. I don't think there is an up way, upside on this one. Yes, I think there is. You, yes. Is it that way? Well, that's why I said look at the package. <laughs> It doesn't tell me. Does it, does it show? No. It's up like this. I saw, I saw flags. You saw other flags? Yeah. Alright. So what are you using to put that up? Soft shackles. They don't rest. They don't rust. They don't mess up the flag. You have the kitty kitty? She's loving on you? What are you doing, Denali? <laughs> She's like, ah! <laughs> was slippery. All right. It's got a moosh. It's got a moosh. Will you do the bondanko? That's the Egyptian. <laughs> you made me do that. <laughs> All right, that's good. A little, uh, little more. We are going to come out here and anchor so that we can play in this water. We got all checked in. Now it's time to play in this amazing water. It has been five years in the making. Five years, can you believe it, dear? No. It's April. April is when we decided to buy a boat. We pulled in here on April Fools. We really thought we would title the video. <laughs> We're a Bimini, April Fool. <laughs> we want to thank everybody who has watched us and cheered us on to get to this momentous situation and occasion and place. We really, really appreciate all of your support, especially our patrons who have just hung in there with us and cheered us on and given us both emotional and financial support. Thank you so much. There you go, it's recording. Where are your fins? I am not gonna use them, I'm gonna let this do the That's work. Hey? Eh? Oh. All right. Go check the acre That's out. coming in! <laughs> in the orange thing coming in. Yeah. It's called the water scooter. Liberty. Okay, don't go too far from the boat, guys. There's a lot of traffic. We know. There's a wake. It's so crystal clear. Can't hold my breath that long. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Is it buried? Yeah. Okay. That's all we care about, right? Okay, yep. stuck under the, the chain. Hi, uh, that is 
is Radio Beach, Public Beach, goes by a couple different names. Let's go find Abigail. Abigail, where are you? Abigail? What? What are you doing? I'm over here, waiting for the king. I slept and I get tired. Yeah. Faster, left hand slows you down. Scare you? Yes! I wasn't <laughs> expecting that! That's how I got out. Well, Dad made a terrible noise. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> when Dad went inside to help you find the thing, I felt, I had a feeling there was a shark in the water. I don't know how. So, what? is it gone? Yeah. That it was, went that way. That was really unexpected. <laughs> is that the big fish you saw? No, I saw one like this big. <laughs> the other one was as big as Abigail. It was like four, four, probably four feet, five feet long. It's a little rocky. What do you think? Not too bad. It's a little bumpy. Todd's tightening down the dinghy. This kind of swell doesn't bother Todd and I. Does it bother you? Mm -mm. No, it's just like being rocked to sleep. We'll see if Zeus sitting and throws up though. <laughs> That's going to be a beautiful sunset. <laughs> 